good. So, hi, y'all. This is your girl, Fabulous Style. And, yes, you're probably going to see, like, back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back videos with me. The same outfit, the same hair and everything. But I just wanted to have, um, I had so much things that I had, I had to make so much orders that they all come in. So, I wanted to make a full, like, I wanted to just film everything for you guys. So, this is why I have the same Fabulous attire. <laughs> okay? So, with that said, so, yeah. So, this is going to be a lay, I mean, um, front lace wig review. Uh, her name is Sapphire and it's from It's a Wig. This is the box that she came in. And let me see. It's a cap weave, lace front, 100% human hair. Okay. It's a wig. And then this is like the instruction and right here number one it's a full lie it says hair can be parted anywhere you want no more bangs all the time be unlimited with various hairstyles by doing center part uh, left part right part or any part you want that is so not true okay and this way right here is I'm talking about her right here that's on my head Okay, she looked gorgeous on me because, like I always say, it is not what you buy that's fabulous. It's you that makes it fabulous. Okay, so, yeah. So, I have this piece since December. So, now it's February. So, I could, so I could really give you guys a review. I will put a picture. Uh, this picture right here, it's when I... The picture, this picture right here is when I just bought it from the store. Okay. And, yeah. And then some of the pictures that you see, um, that's pictures that the same night I went out with her. The same night I had it put on and just went out the same night. Okay. So, at first, when I had it on, I loved her okay and her name is yeah so when I put it on my head and I tried her out in a beauty supply uh, in a beauty supply store I loved her she was looking very pretty very uh a little bit glamorous I mean I was loving it I was loving her so what I did that was my first lace wig number one Okay, now actually that was my first human hair lace wig. I had bought one before. It was a synthetic one, and it looks so like that crap. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I was thinking when I wore it the store. I think the store you just looked nice, but once it hit, once daylight hit it or anything, it was just looking cheap and tacky. And mind you, I paid fifty dollars for her, and it was just not looking good. And I mean, I was like, now I have hair. I might as well just rock my own hair, but. I wanted to use protective hairstyles. I wanted to protect my hair in winter time. I like my hair to sleep, to rest, you know. So for summertime, it could be up and ready. But, um, so yeah, so, so then I, I really wanted to buy another wig. I wanted to buy an RPG show wig. That's what I really wanted to buy. But I was like, I didn't want to invest, you know, so much money on a lace wig and then I might not like her. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to go to my local beauty supply store and buy um, a human hair lace wig and see. So they didn't have no full lace wig at a reasonable price because I had seen some $500 and there wasn't really nothing that good. I was like, uh, I'm not paying $500. No, I'm not doing that. And I didn't. So this hair right here was actually $200. And, uh, yeah. And let me tell you, this is not even the piece that's on the picture you just saw. Oh, no. So, let me tell you what I did. So, what I did, um, there was a young lady in that beauty supply store, which, um, I kind of know her. So, she braided my hair for me. And what she did, she sewed in. She sewed it in for me. She sewed in the, the cap for me. And it was looking very nice. And there was a little bit of a problem. It was a little bit too small for me. So, 
so yeah so what she did she ended up having she ended up like gluing a little bit the sides um because you know but uh, let me tell you what happened to me so okay so it was fine the first night went now looking like a diva you know I was feeling myself I was like yeah um at night you know I set it for my satin bonnet went to sleep and everything but I did so I was seeing that every time I was passing my hand through it it was just shedding and it was shedding like a cat and it is still sh this one too is shedding but this one is not as much and as bad stick around to hear the story so yeah so uh, every time I was going I was putting my hand through it it kept on shedding and shedding so I was like at first I was like well I, 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 I know I know that curly hair it do tend to shed quite a bit you know so I was like okay so probably it's just shedding is gonna stop oh no shedding did not stop let me tell you within five days of me wearing this my, that, that wig I had a bald spot right here on the lace part it was like a big go I don't know there's a picture I'm going to put right here but on this picture you're not going to see it because what I did I put like a clip on it just so I can take a picture of it with it I just put a clip right on top of the bull spot but I had a big bull spot and it was unwearable you couldn't wear it no more I couldn't do anything with it I couldn't put my hair back anything um yeah so I couldn't even do that so and it just kept on shedding. It shed so much that I had a both bad. I mean, everywhere I went, I had a nickname for that week. It was called Midgeon the Pussycat. Yeah. Because why? I was shedding. I was, everywhere I went, you saw my hair there. So I went back to the store where I bought it from. And I complained. And he, he gave me the number from, for It's Away. And they, I called them. They told me I had to go back to the store. The store wasn't supposed to call them. So I went back to the store. And he was like, um okay he'll call them and really two weeks later he called me and told me to come pick up a new wig the same one but a new one this is her oh and let me finish telling you what happened within that one week too the hair just got knotted i mean when i said knotted it was just like a nest i was so and it was so in so i couldn't even remove it so i had to go back to the young lady for her to remove you know, because I didn't want nobody to, to cut my hair. So, for her to remove the, the thing. And then, because I felt like it was a nest. It was so depressing. I was like, oh my God, never again. Never again. But, two weeks later, they did replace it. And send me a new one. I mean, give me a new one. So, that was pretty and nice of them, for them to do that. Um, so, this is the second one. So, the second one, I did not have her um, sew it in. I just put it on whatever I wanted to wear her. And also... She's been washed and conditioned. I mean, this is not... I mean, she is not bad, but she is not bad. She's not her best. Like, in the back already, it does get that up. So I'm probably going to wash her again and see if she's going to do it again. You see how that up it is? Um, I don't really use products on her I don't use no styling products or anything just when I wash her I condition her and that's it when I have wash her she did look nice she did look fresh and yep and look at this so but it's not like fluent and this is human hair I'm wondering if it's really human hair but to make a long story short I will not spend two hundred dollars on this wig I will not no I wouldn't I wouldn't and from what I'm hearing, there was a lot of complaint for this wig. It's later on, they finally, you know, I had to investigate a little bit to realize what was going on. And yeah, there was a lot of complaint. And this company, it's a wig. A lot of the wigs always have some type of shedding problem and default and knotting I mean, problem. It's still, I mean, you know, it's still pretty when you work her, but not for $200. I mean, for $200, it's showing This is like, and mind you, I don't wear her every day. This is not something I wear every day. And, yeah so the thing is this is only a like i said this is only a lace front wig so this is literally like let me see 
one inch of potting space that I get right here. I mean, yeah. Yep. And then right here, I think if I do it in center, the center one, I get like one and a half to almost two inches. But right here, it stops right here. And the lace is itchy and the lace is not invisible. It does kind of look shiny and it does give you that this little part. So I think probably if it was bigger, maybe it would have been better. Yeah. So, as you can see, the cap is a little bit too small for me. So, I mean, if I had to have a glued and everything, what would end up happening, because when she was sewed in, she was pulling. Pulling. And, uh, no, this is a protective style. So it's for you to protect my hair, not for you to rip off my hairline and rip off my hair nah. so yeah I mean would I buy would I buy this again no nah. if it's given to me for free would I wear it yeah <laughs> yeah so this was my honest opinion um so if you have um any wig from it's a wig, the collection, or you may have anything, and if you love her or you hate her, please post this video. If you made a video, please have a video response to this. If you don't make videos, you could please leave me a comment and let me know about the what was the name of the of the wig that you have and what was the problem or what was so wonderful about it. I mean, yes, it's a community here. Um, people make research, and you know. I might have probably have two bad pieces. I mean, this one actually is actually better than the first one. So, yeah. So maybe if I had a third one, probably it would be better than this one. I don't know. But I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to buy it. So, this is it, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to comment. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And if you would like, you could put a video response to this if you own a It's a Wig. Stay blessed and stay fabulous. Mwah. Bye bye.